We got ready to kid in the building. We here till what? 7 p.m. You never know. We might go till 8 today though, because he said he got a lot of things he gotta get off his chest. So hopefully, uh, he don't get in no trouble. You said he uh, so hold, hold it back. Seven, eight. Oh. Shout out <laughs> to the flowers. Jeremy. Oh. Jeremy. Oh. 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 Hey, Ty gonna like clothes line me in a minute. Shout out to Ty, seven fourteen. Miss Ashley per year. If you ain't came out to Sugar on Sundays or Wednesdays, you losing. Yeah, Eighteen and up. Shout out to them because they let me come rock the mic when. Did I do my thing? Yeah. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm about to say some more stuff. Bro. So, uh, what yeah. I do? <laughs> no, we gonna get down to business. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you said uh, a lot of people trying to say. You sound like this person, you sound like that person, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you yeah, address yeah. all the top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. So, yeah, Shine has a feel of a song from the South. It does. Shout out to Has, the future Miracle producer who made my beat, man. The uh, same dude who made set him out for Hollywood Colors. We uh we set up, and we went in the studio, and I was like, I need something Southern. I need that feel-good music. And he was like, jam. So he sat there and he made the beat, right? Now, me and my partner, Holly Streets, Set in the studio, and we thought of a, a concept for a hook, and we came up with the hook. So I did the hook yeah. on on a Saturday, came back and recorded the song on Monday. Now, shout out to Roscoe Dash, Travis Porter, all of them. I had heard show out in the club beforehand, mm -hmm. once or twice. And there was only one DJ in St. Louis playing show out, shop. So I never really had the song to take it, and they said like a lot of people say I sound like Roscoe Dash and show out, but shout out to Tez Bang and DJ AJ from the old 100.3 to beat. Tez Banga came to me, right? Mm -hmm. And Tez was like, B, you rap hard. Everybody who know me, I used to rap lyrics. Like, yeah. Jump Stupid, Woke yeah. Kimo Sabi was based off lyrics. So it was like, look, you rap real hard, but you lose your younger crowd when you go in on every track. So yeah. AJ was like, well, go back 10 years to all the number one hits. Find something you can recreate and see if it worked. So why not go somewhere where it all started? So all you Atlanta fans and Travis Porter fans and Young Dro fans, if you know your rap, the first rapper who came in singing was none other than Nelly. Yeah. Country Grumble. Yeah. Right. They they criticized and they laughed at all St. Louis people for being country and joked and laughed. So shout out to Mo. I went back to Country Grumble and I was like, well, I need a song that's going to make an impression and last. So why not go back to the person who got us on? Like shout out to Chingy, Jay Quan, Ebony Eyes, a lot of people that got signed after him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to St. Louis, period. But him and Chingy made the biggest impression. Yeah, because they was doing stuff that you would have learned from the internet. They song, their song lasted. So when you asked me to go back and find something that I can keep and stay true to St. Louis, I chose Country Grammar. He sung, so I sung. I sung, rapped on the song. No, I didn't auto-tune it for those who liked the tune. I didn't, and it happened. Some me, people like the song. Me, oh, I feel like the song ain't really, I mean, the beat more or less might, might remind me of a you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The way you rap, I like it better, let's say, than what right. I heard from I don't want to say that's how they sound, sound. Yeah. Yeah. but that beat, that beat yeah. sound like how yeah. they sound. Yeah. To me, you got balls. To me, right. it was yeah. different from Ray the Kid. Right. Ray the Kid, I know, but I know I spit too, and sometimes I got to step out of my lane. You yeah. have to. You know so I respect artist. it. I respect it. Every artist. Listen. Unless please. you got a hell of a budget behind you. Right. <laughs> please understand. That your first project and almost maybe the second half, the first half of your second project, you will never get to do what you want to do. It's like, not about you. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> you, to sell records, you, you, you can really do your own mixtapes. Right. right there. You, and that was the DJ. The people who play your music. Respect the DJ. Yeah, the people who play your music will tell you. Like, I right, that, that song hard. You got 5,000 boys like, game. But I can't play that in the club. I got to play Go yeah. Shorty, Shorty, Go. Yeah, and I, <laughs> our market is based up off the club. If you can't get no spins in the club, then you can't get no bus. Nah. That's why I'm I'm about to drop a new club. Thing. I just was talking about that. Oh, you got it. Yeah, like, it so, and it, it's it's everything. It's, it's like, if you if you all are smart, you know what a dam is. It's a whole path to a dam, and it's a path leading out of the dam. Everything you do to get in the industry is going to the dam. The industry is the dam, and leaving the industry, it's a whole nother path. You, whichever way you set yourself up on leaving the dam, you know what I'm saying, is how it goes. But to get there, you can't you can't go up straight. You can't swim backwards. Mm -hmm. You gotta go with the flow. Yeah, I current. feel I feel like by you do by you dropping the song that you drop and it's popping like it's popping. You know what I'm saying? It's like your third single that's been popping up to yeah. me. But like. 
Why you dropping that when you do get in the game and they be like, all right, we want you on BET for the for the cypher on the hip hop awards? It's gonna throw them for a loop because they be like, all right, about to be whack, and then you come on and murk ever. Like that's a good look to me, just like when Nelly hopped on the uh, rap city and murk. Right. I, yeah. I think that's a good market. He like, and, and for those who don't know, you know, like, and I'll address this too because you know, like, they have industry talk on on high. You know what I'm saying? And we could talk a little bit of industry. We, we could talk St. Louis politics. Mm. Those of you all who dislike Mo and the lunatics camp, man, the dude do so much for St. Louis. On some real talk stuff, like, he has organizations and helps with cancer and, and sickle cell. Like, Did just, you know, uh, man, the dude, the dude do so much and don't get credit for it, like, Please respect your St. Louis people, man. It's people who just work. Because he don't sign them, man. He, right. He can't do that. He can't. I mean, that would make him fly. Yeah, exactly. If, if Look, you signing everybody, it ain't easy out here in the game right now. Exactly. I, man, I'll give you the best I give you the best scenario ever. Look, check this out, Gunner. And y'all my witness. Everybody here my witness. When Nelly got signed, his deal was for him. If you blew and you made it past your incentives, if you don't know what incentives is as a deal, go get your rap game up. When you got past your incentives, you got... Uh, uh, another album for the Ticks, and if you sold so many, we would sign you to more albums. Yep. He got now, now, now. Real talk, I don't know the structure of his contract, but that's what happened. So you say Nelly ain't put nobody on from St. Louis. Nelly ain't put nobody on from St. Louis. He put on City Spud, yeah. Murphy Lee, the whole lunatic. Ali. They all so had their he own brung, they He brought four dudes up with him, whether you like it or not. He could have got that deal sold all at 8.5 in the states. Country grandma and said, "You know what? I'm gonna do me another album. Yeah, yeah, I gotta exactly. wait. I'm gonna do another." One. He and put the same out. Time, he got the eyes looking at St. Louis. He went to continue to come up. You know what I'm saying? Jay Quan, he was all weeks, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like you really can't say nothing better, but because he didn't get people on, because they would have been looking at us anyway. It just don't nobody want to go out and get no money. money. They don't want to work. Like, like, they don't want to work. Like they, like it, I know a lot of rappers who just don't want to work. They just want to yeah. like sit back and be. The what can I get rapper? You know what I'm saying? With the quotation marks. Around, they want to be the dude in the club popping bottles when I'm around, but yeah. dang, it's I, little of that. I, I, say that. Another big, another big person, right? Y'all know Huey, mm -hmm. and Huey had uh, the Camp Boys. Rome, Young Rome is not in St. Louis. Do you know where Young Rome is? Y'all, he's in Atlanta. ATL. Young Rome gets paid fifteen hundred dollars for his features. If you ain't listen, Young Rome have a mixtape with uh, Jewels, Lil Twist, yeah, they got a lot all of the Chucky. Like all these people, uh, uh, he got one on uh, Facebook flow now. What's his name? Boomin' Bucket. OJ. OJ the Juice yeah. Man. Like, this is a guy from Kenlock. Like, Here, you never heard him on the radio at all. Exactly. Jam. But he worked. He get paid to get on other people's so You don't have to be on the radio to be successful. They, 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 Man, it's just about show you what you put in, you know what I'm saying, towards <laughs> you, don't know, man. Like, you can charge, you can charge, you can get money and charge side. people if you didn't did enough work. That's how I feel. And if you establish yourself as a person who's going to bring something to somebody's home, then they're going to pay you. Yeah, shout out to, to 714 and the bangers. You know, y'all haven't heard something from the bangers in a while. They put out a mixtape not too long ago. They jamming, you know, MV Clips, L, what's happening? But shout out, 714, you know, Ty put me on something that a lot of people didn't know, like, they ask, okay, well, you got the song here. We don't see you in society. Oh, well, not society. We don't see you in plush no more. You know what I'm saying? We don't see you in Louisville. We don't see you in the law. For the last three months, we hit the road every day. Yeah, I, 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 I don't get paid show some or paid, but most of them promo. We go with CDs, T-shirts, and a bus. That 714 bus, y'all see outside the club. We go. We stay in hotels, and we push. Like, we push. But what, what did Jesus say? After the club, I'd rather count a million bucks, man. Yeah. Like they ain't making no money look, in the club. What you doing? Yeah, yeah, you a you a spectator. You was supposed to take me to the club every right. day. See you know what I'm saying? We don't got the we don't got the same profession that everybody in the club. We're not club hoppers. We are in this local industry. I'm not finna be in the club if I ain't hosting. I feel like if you are performing, which I ain't for. Like if you hoop, if you play ball. Like, why are you in the club? Well, you you making a beat out of the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mixing like, 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 like the club. You know, you know, no. <laughs> like, like, jam it. Like, for real. Because it's just like, why why be in the club, right? Checking to see if the DJ going to play your stuff, right? You think he don't see you looking at him when he on the stage spinning them songs? He looks. He's like, man, this dude ain't handed out one CD. He offered me a drink, though. Well, y'all give me a hundred bucks. Yeah. They ain't got nothing they ain't in their hands. They ain't got the business cards. <laughs> no nothing. You heard me? But they in there. It's about business. It's about business. <laughs> so then they gonna ask their little cousin who go to hell.